Welcome to the Resistance, soldier. This is your commander. Before we get you out there saving Earth from the mother gunship, we need to make sure you know how to craft some guns. Chief Gunjaneer Wilkinson will take it from here. Yeah, I'm the on-site certified maintenance gunjaneer of Joe's arms and armory. Gun-shaped solutions for alien armada-shaped problems. I am contractually obligated to say that part or I will be ejected in- Oh, okay. You want to get right to it then. Go to the crafting bench. The crafting bench is at the end of the room. After you act- Welcome to Joe's Arms and Armory Crafting Stations, where the only limit to your destructive capabilities is your imagination. The secret behind Joe's Crafting Station is in its unique mix of modular parts. It's like playing with blocks, just highly explosive. This is the gun you are crafting. The glowing arrows designate sockets you can select. Try when you select a socket, you have access to your inventory, where you can select parts. You have three tabs in your inventory. Connectors add more sockets. Caps do funny things to your entire gun. And barrels? Well, those should be obvious. There are only two rules. First, parts have to physically fit where you want to put them. And second, barrels need to face forward. You could thank the insurance companies for that. Go ahead and try adding a new part now. Add, remove, or rotate parts however you want, but keep an eye on your energy costs. Every part you add costs... Gun crafting? Excellent. Let's get you on the range then. Your goal? Don't die. The less you die, the better you make me look to my superiors. Good luck. Wait, we're just cleaning up the live fire range from the mess the last recruit left. survived your first live fire chamber. Now you're heading back to the armory. Don't be afraid to build a better gun before you head back to the range. You'll need it. If you picked up any money during your combat training, you can use it to buy more gun parts. Each time you come back here, they'll replenish. So feel free to stock up. Or save up for those heftier parts. The best guns don't grow on trees, you know. I wish I could tell you that you could get used to the colonel, but you really don't.
Two chambers complete. Well done. Now's a great time to tell a friend about our mission to destroy the mother gunship. Wilkinson, tell him. There's a gunship. It's, uh, it's called the mother gunship, and destroying it is uh, our mission. Splendid description, Wilkinson. The Resistance will need all the help we can get if we plan on taking that thing down. We need everyone. You, your best friend, your most distant cousin. Forgotten 90s era actors who show up on reality TV shows. You can just leave while he's talking. He usually doesn't notice. I mean, really, tell everyone. Football players, canines, your first crush, people who actually like Chaucer, Visigoths. People from Wisconsin, doctors, even the non-medical kind, people who still use the default password on their routers, people who you only know from holiday parties. Pilots and their cool uniforms, that'd be good to have. Politicians who aren't on social media, meteorologists, you know, for all the meteors. So, yeah, and just about everyone. Chambers complete. Excellent. Sooner or later, this combat loop gets the best of all of us, though. So keep improving your gun. Wilkinson, what are the odds of this recruit survival? Why would you ask that? They're standing right there. You're right. Who cares about odds? Do your best. Chambers complete. I bet you could do this all day. You must have that sort of time, but uh, I don't. Let's turn up the difficulty. The risks are mighty, but so are the rewards. Uh, there aren't any rewards. Because this training mission isn't meant to be fair. It's designed to crush your spirit while stress testing our new gun crafting system.
I'd be impressed, except I was beating live fire ranges before it was cool. Trust me on that, and don't ask the Admiral. Or Wilkinson. Or anyone else. I'm pretty sure even the Colonel's training room simulation time was, in itself, simulated. What he lacks in field experience, he makes up for in excellent listening skills. Yes, I was the fastest, most bullet-dodgy person ever to complete this course. I was so good, they don't let me back on the course these days. Six rooms? You must have crafted something pretty impressive. I'd say you're almost ready to help us take on the mother gunship. Maybe you do deserve some sort of reward. Wilkinson, do we have anything we could use as a reward? Is the answer to that going to involve me doing more work? It's not work, if it's what your heart longs to be doing, officer. What? My heart didn't long for any of this. Onward, soldier. We'll see what we can do. Seven chambers cleared. Keep going. Just imagine the most tasty reward you can. We'll make it happen. By we, he means me. I'm not sure why this credit is being spread around. Didn't you once tell me that you were a championship baker? I'm providing you the opportunity to reach a new audience with your craft. What you asked me to make is an affront to all things baking. It's blasphemy. I don't think you could ask for a better hook than that. Keep that culinary mystery in your mind, soldier. It's fuel on the field. Keep going. Chambers, and we have your reward. We're happy to present you with a one-of-a-kind treat, never before seen. Are you ready? My gungeoneering license will be revoked for this. It's a chocolate chip cookie pie. 
Only we didn't have flour on board, so we used cement. And we didn't have chocolate chips either, so we substituted bullets. It's a bullet cookie pie made of cement. And it's also moderately similar to whatever tasty treat you might have wanted. When the two are compared on a cosmic scale, I think we've had enough time on the range today. Great work, recruit. I'll see you back here soon when we can finally take the fight to the mother gunship itself. Perhaps there'll even be more baked goods.